Hello! Welcome back to this Let's Play of Dungeon Crawl. I'm using a different version of Dungeon Crawl. I'm using the classic graphics. Because when I used the, um, the graphical one, the good graphical one, it didn't show up well on YouTube. I thought so and somebody else told me. So... I am going to go this time my favorite class, Hillock Priest, which is one of the easiest ones, because the priests of the Hillocks follow the best god in the game, which is the Orcish god. Let me see. Mm. It's been a while since I've played this. Got to get out of the water. Now let me see. Have a look at my skills. In this game, I'm going to try to branch into spellcasting. Because orcs are... Well, they're all right spellcasters. They're not good general spellcasters. Now... Oops. Something about spell casting in this game. So pretty much Oops. I've accidentally surrounded myself. So anyone can branch into spell casting, but it's generally not recommended for fighters. Because heavy armor interferes with spell casting and makes it harder to cast. The heavier the armor is, the more it interferes. I will be wearing some armor, but not much. I think I've got... Oh, I've got a robe at the moment. So I should wear some ring mail. Ring mail shouldn't interfere too much. Ooh, and a spear. I'll take that for now. So, I can't start casting spells until I find a spell book. But I can train in it by doing that. So. And you know what? I think I'll also branch into pole arms. Just for the hell of it. Oh, is this a shrine? To the shining one? Yeah, it is the shining one. Wow, that's pretty amazing to find that on level 1. Oh, it looks like I'm dying from poison. Holy shit. I'm dead. <laughs> well. Oh, yeah, um... Asshole, classic crawl. It completely shuts. Oh, now I have to move it back. Oh, god damn it. This isn't gonna have to. This isn't gonna work out so well. I have a. I have a feeling. I forgot that the classic crawl completely quit out of the window. Uh. Yeah, for some reason I can't directly record this version of Crawl. I have to record the desktop again like I do with the Higurashi Let's Play. No. Oh, yeah. Spellcasting. Huh? Oh, I can't do pole arms. That sucks. Uh. So What's this? X for look Oh, 
Oh, a jade ring. A curse ring. So I know that it's cursed. Though I don't know what its curse is at the moment. So I'm going to drop that ring. Maybe keep it around just just out of curiosity for what it was, but I'm not going to put it back on. Because cursed rings, cursed stuff in this game is almost always bad. There are like a few exceptions where you can get a cursed normal weapon, like a cursed plus zero weapon. But generally, nah. Ooh, a scroll of magic mapping. They're kind of rare in this game. So, if I'm going to go for spell casting, then I probably want to go for two-handed weapons as well, because shields really interfere with spell casting. Where's the mute? Oh, golden helmet. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty wow! Wow! That is amazing to get that! That's a maximum enchanted helmet at level 1. That is so amazing! Potion of Speed, Potion of Curing. Oh yes, uh, special one of the special abilities, if I press Shift A, this shows all my innate abilities and mutations. And one of the innate abilities of Orcs is they can tolerate rotten meat, making them a little more... Better at surviving on f on on the corpses of stuff. Oh wait, that was a uh, chainmail's a bit heavy for spell casting, but it'll do for now. The uh, eel jib isn't that powerful, so I think I'll go for intelligence since I'm gonna branch out in spell casting. Ah, glowing orcish ringmail. That is perfect for me. That's really good. Ah, uh, those are butterflies. There, there. I'm harmless. So that, yeah, it's a shrine. Uh, marble of the healing god. But the orc god is one of the best. Let me see. Because the orc god allows you to get followers, permanent followers, which no other class in the game can. Oh, that's a bat, not a butterfly. <laughs> um... Splint mail is very heavy armor. Darts of flame. Hmm. I think I'll pick them up. How do I know they're darts of flame? Huh. Yep, in Chan Armor, but I still haven't found a scroll of Identify yet. That's quite unusual. 
Another good thing about dungeon crawl is you can just pick up random objects and throw them at people. It's kind of cool. There are some things that are better for throwing, like hand axes, spears, daggers, and clubs. But you can... I don't... I think if it's something else besides the three main... Now I just need to find a, a pole arm, and I'll be set. Oh, that's a lot of things. The worm could deal quite a lot of damage, but I think I'm good at level 4. It's slow, but it deals lots of damage. A whip of venom. Scroll of Fear, Scroll of Fog. Ew, it was a cursed ring of hunger. Bad, bad, bad. A robe. Which are basically plain clothes, but... But they can have powerful enchantments on them sometimes. Ooh, enchant weapon. Oh shit, I'm badly poisoned. Yeah, I've got to drink a... K huh? A mimic? What's an inept mimic? I've never seen this before. Oh, okay, it's like an early mi Yeah, normally you get mimics like well, well later in the game. I think this is a teleport trap. Oh no, okay. Normally you see mimics like way later in the game. I've never seen a mimic this early before. But it did say it was an inept mimic, so there we go. Ring of Ice. Ah, these are interesting items, and I think this one will be useless to me, for reasons I'll explain later. So, the Ring of Ice, what that does is it does a number of things. It makes ice magic a lot more powerful, and it makes you more resistant to ice, at, but also makes you more vulnerable to fire. However... Orcs are naturally very bad at ice magic. And much better at fire magic. So, I'll drop the ring of ice. Oh. I'm guessing this is a scroll of recharge. <sighs> yeah, I better just... I've got to try to metabolize this poison. God damn it. Another ring of ice? Hi. Oh. I really want to find a, a book or a um, poem really quickly. A glowing robe. We'll just ignore that. Animal skin. It's a type of armor that can be worn by certain things that can't wear normal armor, like trolls.
How do I know these arrows of frost or arrows of fire already? It isn't normally like this. Well, this is the newest for... Oh! The Orc zapped a wand of digging. Wait, what's going on? Surely I should have um, followers by now. Oh, a hippogriff. Hippogriff skeleton. This could be nasty. One of the worst things about undead is you can't actually tell how much health they have. Yeah, I can now gain orcish followers. That means if an orc sees me, it has a chance of permanently coming under my control. Which is awesome. Do I have a wand yet? Read QE. Yep, it's a wand of recharging. See, the green orcs are now under my control. And, well, not only that, they can, um, level up themselves. So there are, there are a couple levels of orcs. Because remember in the last video we had an orc warrior that I was extremely scared of? Well, there are a few more levels above that. There's, there's orc, um, knight. Ooh, a war axe. Hmm, I guess I'll go axes then. Screw pole arms. And then after night is Warlord, and then there are also, um, there's Orc Wizards, and then there's Orc Sorcerers, Orc Priests, and then Orc High Priests. Although I don't like, oh, where's this guy? Estra Ninja. Ooh, he looks extremely dangerous. I'm confused. This isn't good. If I accidentally hit my orcish allies, my god will be very angry at me. He keeps teleporting. How do I keep hitting these bats? Ew, my orc is dying. Oh, he summoned imps! You fucking bastard. I slashed the quokka. God, I'm dying. Now he's gone again. Hot. Just wait for these things to disappear. Because they're summoned creatures. They should disappear of air. Maybe not this one. Oh no, there he goes. There he is. Oh, I think I'm going to die again. Now he's contaminated me. Although only lightly so far. But looks like I'm going to die. I should have run away. Oh yeah, I have a scroll of teleportation. Too late! <laughs> Uh, yep, and it looks like I'm going to have to move this again, and possibly it'll be out of frame. <sighs> so, let's try something else. How about a 
a Spriggan? Is the Spriggan still here? Yeah. A Spriggan... Um... Assassin, that's it. Now, innate abilities. You are tiny and cannot use many weapons and most armor. You have sup You are a herbivore. You cover ground extremely quickly. You need to consume almost no food. And they are really good at stealth. Like, really good at stealth. And because they're really good at stealth, most things will be sleeping. Oh. And because I'm a Spriggan, I can just run away. <laughs> now, I've never actually done well with a Spriggan, but my brother told me you can, like, kill a dragon in one hit with these snake attacks. And let me see, because I'm not going to be wearing much armor anyway, I guess I'll be branching out into magic as well. Oh, and they're really good at magic too. And this seems to be some odd structure, it's got some deep water. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, and because these things are herbivores, I think they have a very slow metabolism too, but... Now, what is this structure here? It's just a bizarre stru structure in the dungeon. Nope. Oh yeah, something interesting about the um, previous versions of Crawl. You see how I go into the, I try to go into the water and it says, why would you want to do that? In the previous versions of Crawl, you could just walk straight into that water, but then you'd like die instantly. It's basically the game trolling you. It would usually say, are you sure you want to do that? And then you just, you know, the first time you play, you just go, well, yeah, what happens? And then you die instantly. Same with the lava. Um, but now it's, it just doesn't let you, which is good. You know, user friendliness over. Let me see. If you go a merman or a mermaid, whatever, um, you can go into all water because you transform as soon as you touch the water. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good! <laughs> I've been having a good run of games so far. <laughs> Helpless bat fails to defend itself. So, this might be the last video for this part, but after this, next game, whatever, I'm going to go a mage for uh, an actual mage, rather than somebody branching. Dexterity, I think, is the good one. Oh, I've been poisoned. Yeah, I should invisibility ain't gonna help. Oh, I forgot I had a blowgun!
Oh well, too late now. Okay, a mage time. Hopefully this is still on center. Let me see, who should I go? Guess I could go Demon Swan. Yeah. Damn it. Um. Okay. I'll go with Necromancer. Hmm. Ah. Troll necromancer, or whatever. It's not recommended, but whatever. So, I start with a book, and I start with a spell. Oh, I also start with pain and animate skeleton. That's... Wait, no, I don't start with animate skeleton. Let me see. As you can see from these modifiers, um, trolls are not very good at magic. However, the fact that they can't wear armor anyway, and the fact, oh yeah, casting magic um, reduces your food, by the way. So, a troll... Trolls are also naturally suited to stealth as well, since, again, they can't wear any armor. Um, trolls can eat chunks of flesh without, you know, with, all, all the time. Of course, I don't think they can still... I think they still can't eat poisonous flesh. Oh, yeah, I should probably cast the animate skeleton, because what the animate skeleton does, it's really cool. It animates the skeleton... And it leaves the chunks of flesh behind. So I'll cast. Oops. No, Z for cast. That's right. <laughs> Getting really... Let me see. Z. B. So now I have a... Just start reading some of these scrolls. Scroll of Amnesia allows you to forget spells, which is actually quite useful, because if you forget a spell, you can um, use the point. You saw that there were certain spell back then, that there were spell levels that I had to use up. You get all those spell levels back when you forget a spell. So I'll cast Animate Skeleton again. Oops. You can have unlimited um, uh, undead followers, but they can't follow you between levels. Hmm, what god should I probably choose? Maybe the god of necromancy. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Maybe I should have gone to Death Knight. That would have been better. Eh, whatever. 
Oh, yeah. Some, so, of course, some creatures in the dungeon don't have skeletons, so of course they can't be animated by Animate Skeleton. Oh, yeah, and about miscasting spells, um, if I go back to here, as you can see, that there's a chance you can fail spells. For low-level spells like this, miscasting does nothing. It's, it's, no, it's no problem. But if you miscast higher-level spells, bad things can happen. The most notable one would be contamination from magical energy, which can cause bad mutations for you. For you. Mm. Wait, what's happening? Oh, I'm getting a lot of my points put into necromancy. You, um, you get skill distribution based upon how often you use that skill. Oh yeah, when you animate a skeleton, the skeleton picks up all the equipment the thing was wearing, but it can't pick up any new equipment. Orc followers can pick up new equipment, but not undead. Ooh, what's this? Zom. Two shimmering altars of Zom. That's really weird. Should probably leave. Are these teleport traps? Yeah, YOLO, whatever. Oh yeah, we should look at the um, innate abilities. You are too large for most types of armor. You have claws for hands. Your metabolism is lightning fast. You like to eat raw meat. You heal very quickly. You can eat rotten meat. You are covered in fur. You have very tough skin. Hmm. What's that? That's a stone wall. Withered plant. Is this a shrine of... Oh no, it's a... Oh! That's one of the undead gods! Uh, what is he? We'll send corpses in Hertz of Seven Nineteen. Oh yeah, this is the guy I want! Um, yeah. Yeah, I accidentally attacked that plant, so now all my followers are taking it upon themselves to destroy the plant. Whoops. So... Yeah, bec because um, this god is the god of necromancy, he doesn't actually want corpses sacrificed to him. He'd much prefer that you use those corpses, which is great for me. Because most gods want you to sacrifice corpses to them, which is really bad for trolls, because they really need to eat corpses to survive. They are not able to get enough food. But, um, oh, a cloak. I'll wear that. That's uh, only plus zero. Okay, whatever. It's still something.
Oh, it's this guy, the other necromancy guard. So, basically the difference between this god and the other god is this god gives you, um, divine powers that allow you to resurrect stuff, whereas the other god is the god of magical necromancy, if you get the difference. Oops. Oops. God damn it. Post generation, motion of poison. Because of my very um, fast metabolism, the poison is basically, it just doesn't work. I heal way too quickly. Ooh, an orc. I always thought it should be possible for, um, it should be possible for trolls to worship the, uh, the Orc God, because you find them in the Orcish Mines. Oh, why didn't the Orc pick up the... stuff? Hmm? You know, I haven't used, because I'm a troll, I don't need to use the, um, my pain spell at all to fight stuff. Nemlok Zerbleer, the, the god of cards. Now, I haven't, um, found any here, but there are magical decks of cards in this game that do random effects. Though it's kind of not random and... Well, you'll see when I get them. An Orc Priest. Oh, this isn't good. Oh shit, I shouldn't have been resting. Oh well, he's dead. Orc priests are pretty nasty because they can, um, smite you from behind, behind, uh, behind their allies, which is pretty bad. So yeah, basically I'm just going through this dungeon and replacing all of its inhabitants with undead. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> so now I'm in Gorge, which means I can't... You can now receive cadavers from Kabulila, and he granted me a gift. A conspicuous book! So I'll read it. Oh, okay. Corpse Rot. The spell rapidly accelerates the decomposition of corpses lying around the caster. Sublimation of blood. Of blood! Oh uh, yeah, you wheel chunks of flesh and it heals you. Vampiric Draining, yeah, I know that one. Control Undead. Now, because I'm a troll, I'll probably 
Well, trolls can get through the early parts of the dungeon really easily, but they're weaker in the later parts. Mainly because they can't wear armor. But I think it's for a few other reasons. Oh yeah, it's because they um, it's because they're really inept at magic. They can't gain levels enough levels by the time the game ends. Which means they're generally really weak in magic. A phantom. Gotta kill all oh, shit. Lucky for me that was a... Uh, come on, die already! Oh, no, never mind. It looks like I'm dead. Unless... Oh, this'll work. <laughs> Anyway, I'll just wait here to heal up. I think I'll receive some corpses. Ooh, an ogre corpse. Ooh, this is good. Hehehe. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh, an ogre. Let's see. Yeah, he's got a giant club. I think I'll pick that up. And hold it. Because trolls and ogres are the only ones who can wield giant clubs and giant spiked clubs. I think they deal the most damage of any weapon in the game. But they're also have a low accuracy rating. Gonna drop that one. Scroll of fog. So I think I'll read these scrolls of enchantment just to make my club that much more deadly. <laughs> Ooh, work around. So basically these basically this uh wall of undead can act as a good uh delay mechanism if I need to run away. Ah speaking of running away, yeah gnolls are kind of really powerful. Mostly because they come in large groups. Yeah, I guess I can throw the spear, can't I? Oh, I should not have gone down that escape hatch. You can't go back up a hatch. Yeah, I had to read that teleport scroll because I was not getting out of there alive. Oh, there's the temple. Clear water, clear water, clear water. No magical fountain. Oh, that was a sky beast. Huh. 